In this video, we're going to take a look at the connective tissue wrappings that surround each of the skeletal muscles in our body. Each muscle follows the same general pattern. In the specimen that we're going to look at today, we've removed the skin, the subcutaneous fat, the deep fascia that surrounds an entire group of muscles, and we've dissected all the way down till we're left with one muscle, the vastus intermedius, that's on a single femur bone. So here we have our vastus intermedius, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove the vastus intermedius from the femur, so that way we can look more specifically at the tissue wrappings. We know that the vastus intermedius is a single muscle. However, when we remove the very top layer, what we're left with, or that we've removed, is the epimecium. So the epimecium was covering the entire vastus intermedius. What we're left with then are these individual bundles here. These bundles are fascicles. They are surrounded by another connective tissue layer. So if we remove the contents of the fascicle and just look at the connective tissue wrapping, its wrapping is the paramecium. Then if we go a little bit deeper from that, when we have these individual myofibers, these myofibers are encased with the connective tissue wrapping of the endomecium. So if we go from most superficial to most deep, epimecium is first, paramecium is in the middle, and endomecium is the deepest. So, to review, we have our muscle group which is surrounded by the deep fascia. That's what you didn't see on the specimen. However, what you did see was that each individual muscle is surrounded by epimesium. You also saw that underneath the epimesium that you had fascicles that are surrounded by paramecium. And under that, you saw that each individual myofiber or muscle cell was surrounded by endomesium. When you get smaller than that, to see the myofibers and myofilament, they are not covered by any connective tissue wrapping.